Hi hey guys, this is uh, page 49, the three problems I had assigned from the other night. I just want to make sure you feel comfortable with this. So this is uh, 4, 5, and 6. That's all we had asked you to do. So problem number 4, we have 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. So I don't have to put a 1 there because there's already a 2. Now I'm going to multiply negative 3 times 2 to get negative 6. Now let's think about this. In order to get a negative number, I need to have a positive and negative. So I know that 1 times 6 is 6, and I also know that 2 times 3 is 6. So now, one of these has to be positive, one has to be negative. So here, that's going to give me positive 5 and negative 5, and this is going to give me positive 1 and negative 1, depending upon where the negative is. I want it to be negative 5, so this is the one that's going to work. So I'm going to have positive 1x and negative 6x, that I'm going to replace there. So remember the ends come straight down. And I'm going to plug this right in there. It doesn't matter the order I plug it in as long as my signs stay consistent. So I have plus 1x minus 6x. What do I have in common between these two? x. What do I have left? I have 2x plus 1. Remember the middle sign comes down. I'm factoring a negative out, so signs are going to change. So if I factor, what does 6 and 3, 6x and 3 have in common? So I'm factoring a negative 3 out. If I factor a negative 3 out, that becomes a positive 2x. Now we can double check it. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6. And then negative 3 times what gives me negative 3? And that should be positive 1. Notice those are the same. And there's our answer. Now, if you had that backwards, if you had x minus 3 and 2x plus 1, your answer is still correct. Problem number 5. I have 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. I don't have to worry about putting a 1 there because I already have a 2 there. So positive 6 times 2 is positive 12. Now we have to think, okay, in order to get a positive, I need either signs to be negative, negative, or positive, positive. So I'm looking there. That's positive. So both are going to be positive. So I know that 12 is 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Okay. So if I add these together, I'm going to get 13. If I add these together, I'm going to get 8. If I add these together, I'm going to get 7. So I'm going to have positive 3x and positive 4x, and that's going to be replaced right here. So remember the ends come down, 2x squared and plus 6 comes straight down. In between them, I'm going to put this doesn't matter what order, so I'm just going to put the order I have, plus 3x plus 4x, and then I'm going to start solving this. What do I have in common between those two terms? It looks like I have an x. If I factor an x out of 2x squared, I'm left with 2x. If I factor an x out of 3x, I have 3. The middle sign comes down. Okay. Now, what do I have in common between 4 and 6? What is the biggest number that goes into both 4 and 6? 2. So if 2 goes and comes out of it, 2 times what gives me 4x? Well, 2x plus 2 times what gives me 6? 3. These are the exact same. So bring these straight down, and there's my answer. Last problem, number 6. I have 2x squared minus 11x minus 6. I'm going to multiply the last number times the first. I don't have to make that a 1 because there's already 2 there. So negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. In order to get a negative number, I have to have 1 positive, 1 negative. And I know that 1 times 12 gives me 12, 2 times 6 gives me 12, and 3 times 4 gives me 12. Now, one of these being positive, one of these being negative, looks like that's the only one that's going to work because that would give me positive 4 or negative 4. That would give me positive 1 or negative 1. So it's, the, so it's going to be a negative 12x plus 1x because I want it to be give me a negative 11x. So bookends come down. And then I'm going to fill that gap with those numbers right there. This right here is going to go over whatever order you want. So I'm going to go negative 12x plus 1x. And I'm going to say, OK, what can I factor out of both of those? Well, it looks like a 2. Does anything else factor out of both of those? Yeah, an x. If I factor a 2x out of 2x squared, I'm left with x. If I factor a 2x out of negative 12, I'm going to get negative 6. You can double check this by going 2 times 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 6, negative 12. Okay? Remember, this middle sign comes down. And then we're going to look at this. We're going to say, okay, what can I factor out here? Hmm. 
can we factor out? I think the only thing I can factor out is a 1. If I factor a 1 out, I'm just left with this. Nothing changes. Those are the same as what you want. And that's all we have. So what I want you to work on for the rest of the period is page 49. And I want you to make sure that 7 through 12 is done. Ask questions if you have questions, but we want to make sure those are done. Okay? Have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.